everyone, it's Danny Dupuy here, and we have an exclusive interview with a few individuals from Rotary Fest. So with us today is Club President Suzanne Pitterell Luck, and we have Rotary Fest co-chair Paul Walls with us. Hey everyone, how's it going? Great. Good, good. Good, everyone's doing good and staying safe at home, I presume. Yes. <laughs> so we'll dive on right into those questions today. and. Recently, you've posted that Rotary has been postponed, unfortunately, with uh, COVID-19. And what we'd like to know is, um, what are the chances of seeing Rotary at all this summer? Well, Rotary Fest um, is a two summer festival. So we take a lot of time to plan. It takes hundreds of hours to coordinate this. Um, July date with the isolation requirements in place just didn't work out this year. Uh, we are hopeful that we have a date in August uh, that might work for a smaller festival. Uh, but once again, we're holding up with the uh, planning until the Algoma Public Health Unit and other health units uh, give us the go ahead or give us more information. Awesome. And with that too, we know, um, has this ever happened where you've had to postpone or cancel Rotary in the past? Um, We've always had a festival um, this year, I think was going to be our 99th year. Um, we've had postponed it due to weather events because it's an outdoor festival, mm -hmm. uh, but never outright canceled as the, as today. So we are hopeful that we don't, we will never have a cancellation that we just have to change the date to an August. An August date. And you have a lot going on too. I had a chance to look over some of the kind of like your itinerary for this summer and it was jam packed with stuff. Um, and with that as well, will you be continuing the car draw too or has that been postponed? We're still, the car draw, we're still um, doing planning on that. We hope to go forward. Right now the plan is to go forward with the car draw as it is a um, separate item. We normally have the draw during Rotary Fest, but we are looking at having the draw in the fall and our tentative date is going to be the day of our Santa Claus parade, which would be November 21st. That would give us some time to sell the tickets over the fall. Um, because most of the tickets are sold um, face to face, we won't be able to really sell the tickets until we can get the people, until people are going back shopping to the grocery store and somebody can safely sell a ticket to someone. So we are, um, again, we haven't, Put the date in stone but that is our tentative go ahead date for that we've ordered the, some cars and we're looking forward to um providing the car draw for people and it's a great it's a great source of funds for us for mm -hmm. both uh, easter seals and thrive and that's our you know main fundraiser for our charities and now uh with that too given that rotary brings in quite a bit of revenue for you have you thought of any alternatives to that if it is completely postponed um, we have, we've already started one. Um, we have started a Rotary at Work 50-50 draw. It's an online 50-50 draw. We've already had one. The first pot was over $8,000. Wow. Um, we're having monthly 50-50s. You can go to our Rotary website. Um, and from there is a link to the 50-50 draw. The first draw, the funds went to Easter Seals. Um, we had our Easter Seals telethon at the end of March, and unfortunately, we came very short. We were not able to have the live telethon and came very short of our goal. Mm -hmm. And so we instigated this and started up this 50-50 draw to help um, fill in the gaps. So the first draw, the funds went to Easter Seals. The next draw, again, the one that we're having right now that's already started, it will go to Easter Seals as well. So. Um, we encourage everyone to go online and get their tickets. And as I said, the pot was over 8,000, the first one. So we hope that it'll be even larger this month. 50-50 seem to be very popular in Sault Ste. Marie lately, which is awesome. Great. Everyone loves them too. Um, and with this to add, is there anything either of you would like to share with the community right now? You go, Paul, and I'll... <laughs> no, I just, um, you know, we run events throughout the entire year. I can't tell you how many events we have, everything from Rotary Fest, which is our largest event, all the way down to a science festival for students, uh, grade sevens to uh, grade twelves. But um, one thing that's always been consistent is the support that the com community has always given us. Uh, we thank you to the community. That's why we hold Rotary Fest. It's a big thank you for everyone to come out and enjoy. 
Um, we just hope we get the uh, we get to see the community soon, back out and about like we used to. And uh, thank you for the support. And I'll just add on that. I'm Rotary. We've we've been around, or we had our hundredth anniversary of our local club just um, last year, and. Uh, we we're missing each other as a club. We're meeting weekly um, on Zoom to keep in touch with each other because we're all very close and friends and it's a very active club. And um, we, we're we all devastated for the city that we can't have Rotary Fest. I mean, it's a Rotary Fest is a way for this community to gather. And it's sad that we can't do this and we hope to have it as soon as possible. Um, just like everyone else, you know, we want to see each other and we unfortunately we can't do a giant Zoom meeting of the whole city. So <laughs> we, uh, um, we hope that uh, Rotary Fest will be back. And if we can have it on August 8th, that's great. If not, we will have to wait till next year. But um, we're, ma we're making these decisions day by day kind of thing. Yeah, that's great. And I mean, I know one for myself too. It, it, the street parties are so much fun. And I mean, Poutine Fest too. There's just so much going on. And we hope that with all of this moving forward that you guys can continue on with that hopefully. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to answer these questions for us. I know the community is probably looking to hear some words. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. For having thank you.